Hello race fans and welcome to the balmy enclaves of the Car Shorten Race Workshop. And the first thing I have to tell you, this is not a microphone. It's actually a roller release bearing for an Austin A35 clutch. It's pretty cool though. That'll give you a lovely smooth clutch operation. It'll work beautifully. But anyway, what we've been doing today has all been involved around the front hub assemblies because we had some Heath Robinson designed things which had odd calipers and different discs on it. But I managed to separate the original midget type hubs, which had good wheel bearings in. And then we had the new brake discs and we got the new wishbone pans and we got the new brake calipers and I've reassembled it all. And that lot is, all, is ready to go, apart from the fact that we need to fit a set of offset trunnions to it. And under the circumstances, I think I'm gonna fit a set of my ones because I've got them on the shelf. Now, that was good news, but equally good news is that all this stuff was obviously on some sort of competition, Austin A35, when you bought, as you bought it, because these shock absorbers, they've been right tuned up, they have. Although they are not adjustable, they are really, well, you can't see because I'm holding the camera in that hand. But they are really stiff. And I think, well, I know, they're, they're, they're equal spec, if not better, to that that we would use on an Academy race car. So I'm not too fussed about doing anything with the front shocks at the moment. So my plan is put a set of polyurethane bushes in there. Get all that lot mounted up on the car. We've got the steering linkage. Um, and then that little lock can go on there and the front end suspension wise is actually mobile again which would be pretty good so all in all not a bad afternoon's work I think to get all that lot together um, yeah no hold ups there whatsoever just got to put the top trunnions on shim them up get all that lot bolted up on the car a little bit of paintwork under the wheel arches first of all and that's it, that bit's good to go. And then we can go back to doing the wiring, which I was enjoying. So we've got the front uprights all fitted on there now. And you can see how I've painted the um, shock absorber mounting point. So I've left that in the same color as under the bonnet. Haven't got the springs in it yet because I'm waiting for the little bump stops that, uh, that fit underneath there they come under there i haven't got them yet so there's no point in putting the springs on so i have to lift this whole lot up in the air before i put the bump stop on then put the spring in put the spring pan in but all the fancy adjustable suspension arms uh steering arms are on uh found all the brake pads and bits like that got to get some brake hoses made this is the battery which we will be using which is actually the same power and output as a Varley 25, um, but nowhere near the price of it. They're really good, they are. This is what I use on the race cars now. Oh, it's all, it's grey, it almost matches. Um, so yeah, not much wiring done today. It was all mechanical stuff. I painted the steering box uh, and the steering idler, just so it all looks nice when it's under there. Shock's all cleaned up, painted the, arms on the shock absorbers black as well so it all looks tidy and it's all painted black underneath the uh inner wings there apart from the as i say that that gray bit there so all in all pretty good plenty done could go on its wheels if necessary to move it which don't have to do just yet but that bit's done so that's uh thursday Well, today we got the springs in. These were the, what we were waiting for, these little uh, little bump stop rubbers there that go on top there. And the ones inside there, I cut them down because the car's been a bit lowered, so we cut a bit off of them. So, uh, we've got the springs and all the wishbone pan on there. And look, you've got your green stuff pads that came with the car, which that'll be more than adequate, I feel. So we've got the pads in, brake calipers on. I've just ordered the air equipped brake hoses. Not that we've got the pedal box, but I can still carry on with everything else. So yeah, all the springs on, 
Um, everything done up tight apart from the nut on there in case I have to remove that for whatever reason to swivel it around. So that's the front suspension pretty much done uh, as far as I can go for the time being.